In order to gauge the character of a city, you need to interact with its people. According to the Times of India, 78% of Mumbai's population live in slums. So I'll start here, in Dharavi, the slum dog millionaire slum. If you came here 150 years ago, it would have looked very different. This was all one massive mangrove swamp where a small group of Kohli fishermen worked the waters. Eventually, the swamp filled in, making it a new piece of land which immigrants from all parts of India flocked to. And fill it up they did. There are over 600,000 souls living right here. That's comparable to the population of the American state of Wyoming. Wyoming encompasses 253,000 square kilometers. Dharavi, less than two. At first blush, you might feel sorry for the people who live here. Don't. Their economy is doing better than yours, generating as much as $1 billion annually. They also seem to be uncommonly happy. They have community. I decided to ramble around and put my finger on the pulse of this one-of-a-kind place. This is the main thoroughway in the neighborhood leading from the train station to everybody's homes. So the vendors, right, so the vendors set up here trying to sell people fresh fruits and vegetables as they're walking home. As you can see, there's a magnificent selection, a farmer's market of organic greens and veggies and fruits. Notice how quiet it is here. These narrow lanes, free from traffic, are a refuge from the roar of motors and the blare of horns, which pollute the wealthier parts of the city. The absence of traffic noise reveals the subtler sounds of life. Kids laughing at play, the splash of water as someone bathes or washes clothes, the chatter of a lively debate at the tea house, and the distant tink of an artesian crafting an idol. You know, the images you see of slums and movies like Slumdog Millionaire, the stereotypes we have are of a disenfranchised people sitting around waiting for somebody to rescue them, waiting for a, a handout, waiting for relief. But that's not the case here. This is sort of a city within a city, and business is booming. The industry here, the industriousness of these people is phenomenal. I think we do a lot more sitting around and the states that I, that I see here, this is pretty amazing. Everybody is working. Everybody is staying busy with something. Dharavi is about half the size of New York Central Park, but it's jam-packed to the gills with industry and housing. It would take years to discover every nook and cranny, so I decide to focus my time on one little pocket, the recycling industry. Thankfully, not every piece of discarded plastic ends up in the ground or sea, thanks to a community of industrious workers who are giving the material a second life. You ever wonder where your plastic drinking bottle or kid's toy goes after you throw it in the bin? Here you go. Some of the different items being sorted before they're crushed. Someone's old computer keyboard, someone's old phone. These guys are uh, rocking it out to the radio tunes, assorting the plastic. I'm bad, bad sorter. <laughs> so this plastic has already been crushed, put in this bin of water, in this barrel of water. And now the, the good plastic, the high quality plastic, will rise to the top and the lower quality will sink to the bottom. And one more time, it's going to be sorted and then dried. How random is this? Kids playing Street Fighter in the middle of this little gritty alleyway. Again, it begins to rain, and I run into a structure, suddenly surprised to find myself face to face with an army of elephant gods.
The festival of Ganpati is about to start, and all these plastic sealed Ganeshas will soon be delivered to neighborhoods, then paraded around the neighborhood, and at the end of the festival, they'll be taken to the ocean or to a river and submerged. This tiny sculpture studio, hidden deep in the core of Dharavi, has them bagged and tagged, ready to deliver to the far reaches of the city, rich and poor alike. The sun goes down, and after a short stop at a rowdy tea shop, I mosey back to the train station cutting against the grain of the crowd returning home. I too would like to return to Dharavi to unearth more of the eye-opening scenes of life around every corner. Despite holding an extremely modest hand of cards, they're playing a damn good game. Business is booming, and you'll see more smiles emitted here than any neighborhood back in my hometown. Jab chaho on ho jao. Epic on chalao. Available across all devices.